In Cartesian, or rectangular coordinate system, there are three coordinates used to specify the location of a point in 3D space. We can also view this, as a point of intersection, of three planes, each perpendicular, to the x, y, and z axis. Now, in a lot of situations, it is easier to use other coordinate systems, such as the spherical polar coordinate system. In two-dimensional polar coordinate system, we use the parameters, r, the distance from the origin, and theta, the angle the radius makes from the x-axis. Given the radius, we know that the point is inside this circle. Given the angle, we know that it is in this line. So, the intersection of both gives the point. In three-dimensional, spherical coordinate system, we use a sphere, instead of a circle. When the radius is given, we know that the point is somewhere, in this sphere. Given the angle, the radius makes from the z-axis, we know that it is, in this cone. But, if these two coordinates are given, we can know for sure, that the point is somewhere, in this circle, which is the intersection of the sphere, and the cone. Lastly, the coordinate phi is given, which gives the angle of this plane, from the x-axis. The intersection of these surfaces, gives the location, of the point in consideration. This coordinate system, is called, the spherical polar coordinate system. Now, to convert from this system, to the Cartesian system. Z is just, R, cos theta. Now project this, to the XY plane. This is R, sin theta. From this, X is R, sin theta, cos phi, and Y is, R, sin theta sin phi. 